Okay, everyone, it's 11 a.m. on a Tuesday, and I'm finally ready to show everyone my new music studio. So here we go. We got the desk. So you come in, and the back wall. My One of my favorite parts is this back wall. I'm just going to do a quick pan here so you guys can see everything. We got the cloud going on. Domo's up in the window there. He's having a good time. Speakers. Okay, awesome. So I'll do a quick walkthrough and then uh, I'll use the subsections for other videos. So first off, we have the back wall here. We got the diffuser. I'll make an entire video on that because that's... It doesn't... It's not really that complicated, but I could just talk about that for a long time. Uh, we've got the guitars, the Taylor acoustic. Um, this one's awesome. And then we have uh, the Epiphone Les Paul. Great for just many different genres. Uh, the guitar amp down there. And then we have some paneling, AC unit. The uh, It's one of those in inside outside ones. So this is the fan and the compressors on the outside. And then we have my mini keyboard. Domo's got his hand up, he's happy. First point of reflection, um, we need some paneling here because sound comes out of the speakers go there. I'll do a video on uh, room treatment as well. We have my unfinished back wall. Uh, the back wall is going to have paneling on it, just like, uh, I think more like this wall here. It'll be a big black one or three black ones or something cool. Kind of more like the cloud, actually, how it has different heights. Anyways, uh, we have my base traps. So these are uh, sub traps. It's about 18 inches, um, so there's about 9 inches all the way back to the corner. Really good in a room this small to have uh, bass traps, because otherwise, well, the bass won't sound very good. Uh, we got my PC. I'll do a video on that, too. Built that one myself. It's awesome, super fast. And then uh, my desk, which I hate, because it's very orange. And uh, it doesn't really fit the room as well as I'd like it to, so I kind of want to build one that I can actually use my MIDI keyboard with and then have it closer to the back wall, move my speakers back a bit. It'll just fit everything a lot nicer. I'm not even using this back piece. It's just a total waste of space. So this was what I had in my old room that I was using. So it doesn't fit the new one and that's fine. Mic, mic stand, always good. Vocals, guitars. Um, and then I have my headphones, two sets because referencing on the same set gets tiring. H800s. M50s, the black ones. I also have a white pair. I also have a red pair. But these are my favorite for the studio. I have my uh, my DAC here. So this is a M902 Grace Designs headphone amplifier. And it has a really, really nice DAC in it. So I actually run digital audio from my desktop computer into here. And I run my speakers off of this. So that routes down into my sub. This is a total mess, but... It goes down to my sub, and then the sub runs into the, the speakers. A 7Xs from Adam, pretty popular one. Uh, I like them a lot. They're pretty good. I think for midfield, near midfield monitors, they are one of the better ones, especially in that price range. And I've used them for so long. Um, yeah, I just don't feel the need that I need any new ones yet. And with the sub, they, they sound really good. Sub's just a Yorkville 8-inch. Uh, Sorry, it's a Yamaha. Uh, it's the S8 or something like that. And over here I have the uh, Apollo Twin USB, because I use Windows. It's amazing. It's so good. Um, it only has two microphone inputs. That's all you need on this thing. It's so clean. It's just, it's just great. Really good preamps. And then the Steinberg UR44, I use that for... Um, like streaming, I have my mic for streaming, or if I want to line up, hook up four mics for some reason, uh, get carried away with some live instruments or something if I'm recording, that's pretty great. Laptop, Max or whatever. Um, I got my Akai 25 because my desk isn't big enough, but it's great for traveling and, uh, you know, it's just great to have a little, um, side MIDI for figuring out, um, 
sound design and stuff. You guys know what that's for. Keyboard and mouse. I run Steel Series. Um, you can see my mouse needs to be replaced. It's it's in rough shape, but I use it all the time. Monitors and Asus, 144 hertz, 1440p, 27 inch. Um, kind of want to get a curved one. Not gonna lie. Um, the reason I only have the one monitor is because if I had a wider set array of monitors, it would block the speakers off, which is counterproductive in a music studio. Webcam, it's just a Logitech, whatever. I don't even know what it says on it. HD, C, whatever. Had that for a while. Use that for streaming. Um, so all the panels and stuff I built myself. Um, so these ones up here, they're a little thicker. They're sort of for some more bass absorption. Bass gathers, you know, in the tops and the corners. and the... So I have some more bass stuff here. I was going to put a couch in, but I ended up just building this panel. It's not as effective as a couch, but the room sounds pretty good. So I kind of just left this here. I liked how it looked. It gives me more space. The room itself is not super big, so this is fine. Um, everything in here I built except for the desk and obviously I didn't put together the speakers or anything, but the walls and everything, um, it's a totally airtight room, which is really cool. Um, and because of that, if I was to not put any airflow through it, I would die. So up here in the top right, I have a fresh air in and that's attached to a fan in a different room and it just blows air, pushes it into the room. And then over here I have an exit vent. So this actually goes to the outside. The, pipe runs through the wall and that goes like out there and then it it prevents me from dying because there's fresh air coming in at all times i had to replace the window in the room that was here before uh this is a double lammy uh scc it's about 49 48 i'll do a technical kind of walk through of the actual construction of the room as well um you can see the walls are quite a bit thicker than conventional construction it's because there's uh, actually, a, it's a double wall build with an air gap in between. So the walls are nine inches thick instead of four and all that kind of fun stuff. But this is just kind of my gear, what I use. I got my chair. This is just the, I don't have the Herman Miller. I just have this really cushy one. I like the cushy ones. They feel nice. Um, so you can see here the door is not finished and uh, there's a little, little bits of foam up in the corner because I got lazy and once the room was I was able to work in um, I was just like okay I just want to make music in here for a while uh, but you can see I have to finish the back of the door um, it needs to have the proper treatment like this so the, the back of the door when I'm finally done eventually it will look like one of these panels it will have some sound treatment on it as well and then this back wall here will have some sound absorption panels too similar to this first one reflection panel here but, um, yeah, other than that, I mean, that's where we're at. I'm super happy with it. It was a ton of work, but now I have, well, a soundproof music studio. And I'll show you guys how quiet it is um, on the outside when I'm playing music and then on the inside and stuff. So right now, I mean, I'm using my phone to record this, so you probably... Oh, you might be able to hear the computer fan if I stop talking there. Uh, but anyways, so I'll play, um, this is a uh, record that me and Lipless did called Lost My Way. I don't know if you guys have heard it, but it's on Sirius XM Chill right now. So it's, I loved working on this with them. But uh, I'm going to play that, and then I'll go outside, and I'll close the door, and then you can hear how the like soundproofing works um, with the extra reinforced door and the seals and everything. Um, so, here we go. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know if um, you can tell in the video, but, well, I'm sure you can. It's quite a bit quieter with the door closed. So we'll open it again. So yeah, that's it. And um, that's just a run through of some of the gear I use. Most of the processing stuff I do is all on uh, software as you can see I, I don't really run hardware 
I mean, we're in the age of of producing where you don't really need crazy hardware to make um, really good music, I don't think, anymore. So I take advantage of that. I just focus on really um, good recording equipment and um, trying to get a really good signal input and then modifying that once I'm in with the software. But yeah, so um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. Um, subscribe, like for more videos. I'm going to do some more tech stuff on all the ins and outs of kind of each piece because it's a little too much to cover in one video. But uh, hope you guys liked it and uh, catch you next time.